Good afternoon, gardeners. It's February 27th, and it's a beautiful day here on the southeastern North Carolina coast. And today we are going to talk about how to pollinate an avocado tree. Avocado tree pollination is a tricky thing because avocado trees are not like most fruit trees. Most commonly planted fruits exhibit a characteristic called self-fertility, where you only need one individual plant to have fruit. And there are two types of self-fertile fruiting plants. The first type is an individual flower that contains both male and female parts. Examples of a self-fertile fruit with this characteristics are tomatoes and peppers. All that is needed for this type of plant to set fruit is for a windy day to come along and rattle around the flowers, or a bee to land on the flowers and vibrate them with its buzzing, and those effects will shake up the flowers and mix the male pollen within that flower all over the female parts, and the plant will pollinate itself. These types of plants are the easiest to pollinate. Another example of fruits that exhibit self-fertility are plants with separate male and female flowers on the same plant that open simultaneously. Examples of this type of plant are zucchini, cucumbers, watermelon, and other types of squashes. They set separate male and female flowers at the same time on the same individual plant, and they rely on bees to fly back and forth from the male flowers that contain the pollen to the female flowers where the ovaries reside to set fruit. Avocado trees differ from most fruit trees because they are not naturally self-fertile. While avocado trees do create both male and female flowers on the same tree, they create them at different times under normal conditions in their native climates. With avocado trees, the flowers open as male, stay open for a while, close entirely for a while, then reopen as female flowers. Because male flowers and female flowers do not open at the same time under normal conditions, the tree cannot pollinate itself by wind or by bees without a second avocado tree. However, it's not as simple as buying a second avocado tree for avocado pollination. And that is because there are two different types of avocado trees, type A avocados and type B avocados. And you need one of each for reliable fertility because their flowers change sexes on opposite schedules. Under ideal temperatures in their native climates, type A avocado flowers open in the morning on day one as female, close that afternoon, then reopen the following day's afternoon as male. Conversely, type B avocados open as female the afternoon of day one, close and reopen as male the morning of the second day, then close again. When you plant a type A and type B avocado next to each other, those time shifts provide windows for pollination and will provide the best result. But what about those of us that don't have room for multiple avocado trees? What are we to do? Avocado trees can get very large, and many of us just don't have the room to plant two big avocado trees in our yard. Do we have any hope? Well, I have some good news. The lack of self-fertility of the avocado tree is an issue related to growing avocados in their native climates under ideal growing conditions. Most of the avocados we love are Mexican avocados, so for us in the United States and other countries abroad, we are not growing avocados under ideal conditions found in their native climate. Because we are planting the trees out of their native range, the temperatures we grow them in are sometimes not ideal for them metabolically. Having large fluctuations in temperatures disrupts the avocado tree's metabolic rate, and this disruption can cause overlap in the changeover of flowers from male to female. During those times, avocado trees can have both male and female flowers open at the same time on the same tree, but it takes knowledge of science to exploit those times. The first thing you need to know is that type B avocados are not ideal candidates for self-fertility. Overlap in type B avocados is uncommon, so if you want to try your hand at growing a single avocado tree and generating fruit, make sure you select a type A avocado. The flowers of a type A avocado are most likely to set fruit from self-pollination. The second thing you need to know is that in order to cause overlap in male and female flowers, you benefit from a climate with large temperature fluctuations. Flowers from type A avocados are most likely to set fruit from self-pollination when daytime temperatures are in the 70s Fahrenheit, which is about 21 to 27 degrees Celsius, and nighttime temperatures are around 50 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, which is 10 Celsius or higher. And they do best when the humidity is high. 
So, growers in the coastal southeast and the Gulf Coast, where you see large fluctuations from day to nighttime temperatures in the springtime, paired with high relative humidity, will see the likeliest highest rate of success uh, versus growers in California and Arizona, where temperatures are more stable with less humidity during the spring. This is one of those times where being prone to warm and cold fronts with high relative humidity works in our favor down here in the humid south. Now that we've discussed the ideal conditions for avocado self-fertility, let's discuss the process. What you see in front of me is a Lila avocado, which is one of the most cold hardy avocado varieties on the market. It is a type A avocado and it is also a semi-dwarf. I believe this variety of avocado is ideal for experiments with self-fertility. Because of its semi-dwarfing nature, a mature tree can be pruned and maintained in the 7 to 10 foot range, meaning it takes up a relatively small footprint compared to most other varieties, and it is also an ideal candidate for container growing because of its semi-dwarf stature. While the Wurtz avocado is technically smaller, it is not as cold hardy, and the chance of death from a cold snap is also more likely. A little background information on this Leela avocado. I purchased this tree back in the summer of 2018 as a freshly grafted tree. It was quite small and barely filled out a 5 gallon container when I purchased it. I planted it in the ground in the spring of 2019. It is now February 2020, so it has been in the ground for significantly less than a year. The growth on the tree has been tremendous and it has probably quadrupled in size. It's gorgeous, glossy, healthy, and loaded with flowers. Our two coldest nights of the year this past winter have been 23 and 22 degrees Fahrenheit respectively, which is about minus 5.5 Celsius. And those temperatures would easily damage or outright kill a lot of most young avocado trees. Using simple incandescent Christmas lights, a plant jacket, and bricks around the graft, this tree has suffered no damage. We just had our lowest temperature of the year at 22 degrees Fahrenheit last week while the flowers were in full bloom and using my protection methods there was zero flower damage. All flowers are intact and I will link to the video above where I show you how to protect sensitive trees. It is definitely worth a watch and it has been incredibly successful for me. Now on to the self-fertility hand pollination procedure. Assuming you have the right temperature conditions I described to you above, it is not enough to simply rely on wind pollination or bee pollination to pollinate the flowers if there is male to female flower overlap. What you need to do is hand pollinate. The procedure I'm about to describe to you does work because I used it with great success last year. I set over a dozen fruits on this very Leela avocado tree last year using this exact method, but because the tree was so young, it dropped the fruits when they reached dime size. That is to be expected, and it should take about three years or so for an avocado tree to be strong enough to carry a fruit to maturity and fully ripen. However, I can tell you with 100% certainty that this procedure works on this variety of avocado tree and under my climactic conditions here on the North Carolina coast. To do this, you will need a large makeup brush. I think this is a brush for blush, and I bought it in the makeup aisle in Walmart for about $7. It's the perfect brush for this procedure because it can hold a lot of pollen, and the brush is very soft to prevent damage to the flowers. So the absolute best way to ensure pollination of an avocado tree is to take the blush brush and simply go from each flower to the next. It's very difficult to tell whether each individual flower is in the male stage or the female stage, so it's best to hedge your bet and to simply take your brush and to have contact with the insides of every single flower on the tree. And I recommend doing this every single day both in the morning and in the evening if possible because that way you're ensuring that you are contacting all of the avocado flowers at different periods of the day when they may be changing sexes and also when you use a brush like this I also recommend getting one that has a cover like this as well because you can store the brush inside of the cover and you can keep that pollen and then uh, that pollen can go back and forth at different parts of the day and it'll collect in the brush. So right now you can see that the brush is very clean but if I simply contact each individual flower it will start to fill up with yellow pollen and you really you only need to brush them a little bit just hold them contact them all with the brush and if you can see that there that right there is a big chunk of avocado pollen. 
and that's exactly what you want to see. You want to take that same brush in the same spot and just lightly dust every single flower on the entire plant. And that's really all there is to it. So I know that the explanation that I just gave you was scientific and very detailed, but really you're just simply taking your blush brush once or twice a day, preferably in the morning and at night, before work and after work, and you're just going to lightly brush every single flower in hopes that a few are in the male and female phase. I gave you a lot of information, but I just want you to know why you're doing what you're doing. This whole process takes literally five minutes, and it'll cost you seven bucks for the blush brush. And that is all that you're doing here. And if you do this every single day with a type A avocado in the early spring when temperatures are fluctuating and all over the place, I guarantee you'll set some amount of fruit. Some years may be better than others. Nothing is 100% guaranteed, but you will set something. And on my very young tree last year, I was able to get a dozen fruit set using this method and I'm surely going to get even more fruit set this year because the tree is much 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 larger this year and I have way more flowers as an opportunity to set fruit so it's important that you do this throughout the entire flowering phase don't just do it a few times in February as long as you see flowers come out here and do this and remember folks the real keys to success here are consistency and to be gentle with the flowers Avocado flowers are very fragile. They will fall off easily if you're too rough with them. So just remember, it only takes one single granule of male pollen to pollinate a female flower. So there's no need to be really rough with the flowers. Also, consistency is key. It's best to do this as often as you can. Just remember to be very gentle when you're doing it. And that's all there is to it, everyone. It really is that simple. Everyone, I want to thank you for watching today's video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for future updates and more videos like these. If you're curious about anything that I use in my garden, everything that I use is in my Amazon storefront linked in the video description. If you have any more questions, please ask them in the comments section below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see each and every one of you on the next video.